This is a Figma prototype using number variables. In this video, we'll walk through how to create number variables and use them for prototyping prices in this kiosk menu. Number variables are great for storing the prices of our items. They can also be used for keeping track of item quantities. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. This is video two of a four-part series about using variables and prototypes. You can find a link to that video at the end of this one. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to follow along. We're picking up where we left off last time, so our file already has a few things set up. If we preview the prototype by selecting the kiosk frame and pressing shift space, we can click these cards to add items to our order. We're going to add to the prototype to make the total price reflected at the bottom. First, let's make variables for our prices. With nothing selected, head over to the local variables section of the right panel and click the open variables icon. Let's create a new collection by clicking the overflow menu and selecting create collection. Name this collection numbers. In that collection, click the create variable button and select number from the menu. Give this new variable a name, type prices forward slash beef and then press tab to select the value. Enter 17 in the input. By typing prices forward slash, we automatically create a group inside this collection. Click create variable and select number again Type prices forward slash pastrami for the name and 16 for the value. Let me add the other two prices real quick. Now we can close the variable dialog. Select the beef price text node and head over to the text section of the right panel. Click the variables icon in the lower right and then select the beef price variable. We'll do the same thing for the rest of the sandos. You can tell there are text variables applied when this little chip appears down here. I've also applied these variables to the small order cards so the price is accurately reflected there too. Next, we need a variable to hold the total price of the order. Let's create a new number variable and name it prices forward slash total. Leave it at zero. Select our total price text node and assign our new variable to it from within the text area on the right. If we preview the prototype again, nothing has really changed. We need to add interaction details to update variables when we're clicking around. Let's get cooking. At the top of the right panel, select Prototype to switch to that panel. Now select the beef card. Back in the upper right, click to open the interaction menu. You can see there are two existing interactions from the last video. These control the selected state and order card. In the upper right corner of the interaction popover, click the plus icon and select Set Variable from the list. Now choose the prices forward slash total variable, and then choose our total variable again then select Addition, or type Plus, and then select our Beef Price variable. Preview the prototype and click on the Beef card. You'll see the order total reflected at the bottom. Clicking it again will continue to add to that price. What we've set up here is called an expression. It basically means you are doing some math to create dynamic values for variables. I skipped ahead and have now applied that same interaction logic to the other sandwiches. When I add sandwiches to the order, the total updates. But what about when I remove them? We need more math. But first, we need to go back into our design panel, open the variable dialog, and turn on our order boolean so the cards appear in the order column. There they are. Switch back over to the prototype tab. Then select the close icon interaction for the small beef card. Right now, it sets the boolean to false so that the card hides. Add a new set variable interaction to our prices total variable now take that variable and subtract our beef price from it. If we preview the prototype, you can see that our price reflects both ways now. But what about if we click more than once? First, we don't have a way to reflect the quantity in the order column, and second, the total only goes down by one sandwich when we remove the card. Let's tackle that. Let's open our variables dialog and create some number variables to keep track of quantities. Change back over to our numbers collection. Now click create variable and select number. Name it quantity forward slash beef and leave the value at zero. I'll create the other three real quick. There we go. Back in our design, I've already created some UI to keep track of the quantity of each sandwich. I'll turn that on by selecting our cards and toggling a property real quick. Now we need to assign our new variables to all of these quantities. Select the beef quantity text node, click the apply variable button and select the beef quantity variable. Now select our large beef card, switch to the prototype panel and open the interaction menu. Add a new set variable interaction. 
change our beef quantity variable and set the math to take that variable and add one. Previewing the prototype, you see that our quantity marker goes up each time we click the beef menu card, but removing the card and adding it again will not reset our quantity now. To do that, select the close icon interaction for our beef card. Add a new interaction that sets our beef quantity variable back to zero. Preview this and the quantity does what we expect, but our order total does not. Let's fix that. Open the close icon interaction, select the second interaction that is updating our price total, change the math to total minus beef price times beef quantity. This will always set us back to zero. Let's try it. Hey, it works. That's pretty tasty. I skipped ahead and applied all that same logic to each of our menu items. Let's open the variables dialog and turn our Boolean variables back to false so our order cards only show up when we add them. Let's preview that real quick. Now we can make the plus and minus buttons work in our prototype. We'll be doing similar math as before, so I'll move through it quickly for the sake of time. We need to turn our Booleans on again so we can see our small cards. Select the plus button inside the beef order card. In the prototype panel, add a new interaction. We'll set our beef quantity variable to beef quantity plus one. We'll also need to add the price of a beef sandwich to our order total. Now we can do the same thing for the minus button. Preview the prototype and things work as expected. Mostly. Our total order can go below zero. Oops. We want our card to go away if there are no beef sandwiches in the order. In our minus button interaction details, let's add a conditional. Conditionals let you test against whatever criteria you set up and make changes depending on the results of that test. Add a new conditional interaction, set the condition to if beef quantity is equal to zero, and then choose set variable from the list. We'll update our beef ordered boolean variable to false. This will hide the card so we can't go below zero. I skipped ahead and have applied the same logic to each of our sandwiches and hid our small cards again. Let's preview this prototype one last time. Clicking a sandwich will add it to our order. We can click that sandwich again to add more. Or we can click the plus button in the small order cards to add more. We can lower our quantity by pressing the minus. And once we get to zero, the card goes away. We can also click the close button to remove a sandwich all at once. And all this time, our order total has also been updating. Pretty cool. And that's how you use number variables in prototypes. I hope this Figma helps you nerd out with numerals. Thanks for watching.